Self-made kings. That means anything that you want to be in life, you can be that. We all kings. The show still is all about aspiring, motivating, galvanizing, bringing us all together and just trying to take this to another level. We know that we all got it in us. That's our calling. You are queens, ladies, and we are kings. And so that's what we call for. And then hopefully we can step into our calling and then everybody can start pushing each other and we can get there. Come on this journey with us, y'all. Again, it's Self Made King Podcast. And you know who we are, man. We are, we this group, man, that's been here in Lima, man. We're running around, we're trying to do these different things about bringing out different talent, uh, exploring the different gyms that's and just digging them out the ground that's around here in Lima. We got all different types of people. Uh, we got a gym right here that we dug out the ground, and man, he's something else. We're gonna get right back to him, but I'm gonna get to the show and get everything out that we need to. You know, we've been doing some different shout outs. And for the last couple of shows, we stopped doing shout outs. So next day, you know, our people start saying, hey, you forgot about me. You forgot about me. So we're going to give a shout out. We got Shine down there in South Miami. We got Pamela in South Miami. We got Barbara Jean over there in Alabama. We got Sis over there in South Carolina. How you doing? And so all the way around, all the way around, right back up here to what's near and dear to our heart. Ohio, Cincinnati, Columbus, Dayton, all of y'all, man. Y'all showing us love, and we just giving that love back, man. We love y'all. We want y'all to keep chiming in. We want y'all to go to our channel, YouTube, like, subscribe. And, man, come on board with us on this journey. Okay, so what self-made king is all about? S is for self, M is for made, and K is for kings. And that means you can be anything that you want to be in life. All you got to do is put your mind to it. We got a lot of things going on with the pandemic. Uh, we got war going on. We got everything that's going on right now. We think that it's time for people to just get up out their comfort zone. Go for what you know. You know, uh, life not promised to us. Tomorrow not promised to us. So if you feel like it, you've been back in your own seat, and you uh, felt like you wanted to do something and never had a chance to do it, now's the time to do it. Get up. And that's what Self Made King's about. Get on this journey with us, y'all, and just get on up and just go do whatever you feel like in life and do it and have fun at doing it. Okay? All right. So we're going to get on to the show. We got a good show today, man. I'm, I'm kind of interested, really interested in this show because this guy right here, he kind of fell in my lap. And uh, a lot of things that be going on around here in Lima, and we've been tapping into the different artists and stuff, Lou. Yeah, uh, yeah. We've been tapping into the different business people and entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurs and everything. But sometimes, man, we just want to get into the meat of what's really going on, man. And, you know, and sometimes it's all about just uh, just trying to find that meat. So guess what? Here in Lima today, uh, we got this guy, man, his name is Ryan Cano. I want to make sure I pronounced that right. I, I was almost ready to say no. <laughs> but Ryan worked for this company called Benchmark. And man, they're an awesome company. They work with the disability. They tell with them. developmental disabilities. Look, oh, I'm going to let him tell you more about it. <laughs> Ryan, come on, man. Let's start this thing off. Tell us what, what about your program. Tell us about it. And then we're going to get into it. And then we're going to get Ryan and everybody else in the world on to what's going on right here. Yeah, right. Well, thank you. Uh, just briefly about the industry as a whole. Um, of course, yes, I do work for Benchmark Human Services, but uh, all the businesses that do the kind of work that we do, we share a mission. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, it's not as competition like Pepsi and Coke or uh, Ford and Chevy or yes. you know Verizon and Sprint. I mean, we're we're working with people. We we are trying to increase people's life satisfaction, uh, bring about. Uh, new experiences and awarenesses in the community, mm -hmm. and not only to help the people that we serve thrive, but also to help educate the community and understand that people with developmental disabilities and people without them mm -hmm. are very much more alike than they are different. Exactly. So this, exactly. um, <clears throat> this is a this is an underknown mm -hmm. and underappreciated and sometimes a very under-resourced population of people that we work with. They're disenfranchised. Right, 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 right. That's that's, that's crazy. Uh, okay, okay, now, y'all know what he do, and man, I mean, they take a special person. Um, I want to give, I want I want to say this because I didn't want to lose this, and because me and you had to share a story together. Yeah. You had a, uh, a family member that was disabled. I did. Okay. Uh, sometime it hit on personal to us, you know, and to y'all out there. And so when you hit personal, uh, you either can do something about it or you can step up and you can step back. Uh, when, I was, when, I, when I first moved up here, I moved up here for Florida. 
and uh, we came up here and came up just uh, kicking and screaming. Remember, I told you I never saw snow. I, <laughs> so you know, um, but uh, all of a sudden we going and going and going. We got this pop. You know, our our, our dads. You know, uh, there was always the breadwinners, and all of a sudden our dad uh, he catch a stroke. He get a stroke, and it knocked him down. It uh, it, it, it worked on the whole side of his left body, uh, his face, his arm, and his leg. And uh, he had to go through this process of, you know, uh, out in the garage. And we, I remember us being little and we going out there trying to help him with the pulleys and all the different things. And it kind of got, so what I, when I say that, the reason why I want to tell that is because it, when, it, when it's something that you have been in and it's special to you, like I said, you sometimes it put a little drive in you to where you want to keep doing that. So I always had a, a kind of like a, a soft spot for that. You know, even going through school, you know, if I seen the disabled or anything like that, I just always had a soft spot for it because I, I, I went through it with my dad. But now tell us about your experience. What, what kind of got you, you know, motivated? I'm not saying that's what really motivated you to do this because you seem like you're the type of guy that got the heart like that anyway. But, well, um, <clears throat> I did grow up in a different kind of environment, uh -huh. uh, except for my dad had a physical disability. Mm -hmm. And uh, was not, uh, uh, it doesn't impact his, his mind okay. or his brain, uh -huh. uh, his IQ or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he came home sick from Vietnam and he had an infection and uh, it turned into multiple sclerosis. And okay. as that disease progresses, he, we saw braces and canes and then manual chairs, electric mm -hmm. chairs, and then his last wheelchair he actually drove with his chin. And mm -hmm. so we did everything for him. Um, from assisting in the restroom to, to bathing and ultimately to eating, uh, all those different types of things. And, and I always insert here, my mom is uh, outstanding. She's special. Uh, she's going to be uh, get some shout out to friends. mom. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> um, they're married 35 years, That's and awesome. he oh, never wow. spent a day in a nursing center. We wow. did it all at home. That's awesome. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, what we focused on, and, and I also say this. Grace is what let that happen. Yes. Uh -huh. um, you can look at situations any which way. I mean, when you think about the, the bad cards that he might have been dealt, mm -hmm. he played them as well as you could possibly play them, and the only way to do that <clears throat> is through faith and grace. Yes. And so, uh -huh. so that blessed our family. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we focused on the things that we could do yeah. instead of the things we couldn't do. Okay. And so that became almost like the, that was my education. Okay. I went to college, but... <laughs> I, yeah, 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 I know, I know. I, I got an English degree, I made a really good email. Yeah. You know, but as far as uh, anything else goes, my life experience is what led me to possibly this job. Yes. Mm -hmm. And looking at what people can do instead of seeing just the barriers and putting limitations yeah. uh -huh. on people. Yes. You know, we got to focus on their potential. Uh -huh. What uh -huh. can they do and how do we yeah. help get them? Yes. Yeah, yes. When, yes. When somebody sees someone disabled, especially physical disabled, they, they put a barrier around them. Yeah. You know, and uh, and it limits to what they what they can do. So I think that's a great idea. Which yeah, about. yeah. Because they got so much potential, and then it's like we see if we see a disability there, it seems like we run from that instead of trying to to bring out the best yeah. in that. And and uh, it's just something about that. I don't know. But you began working with the, dis with the disabled in 1995 on the Allen County Board of Disabilities. I did. Mm -hmm. I was so thankful that they <clears throat> gave me my introduction there. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it, and oddly, uh, I had just finished school. I was working at Domino's uh, 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 Pizza. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was a year old. <laughs> and okay. I got hired. Yeah. And the uh, first two weeks, I didn't know what the heck I'd gotten myself into. And then the hook set. And once that hook was set, yeah. this has been my job and my passion and my life. And I'm so fortunate to be able to do something that I love and care about right. and still pay right. bills. Okay, so at that transition, what, like, what made you transition? When you start, okay, the first time that you maybe assist somebody with changing an adult um, diaper yeah. or an attend, mm -hmm. That's something, and then uh, and then when you help somebody eat, you know maybe a pureed diet, uh, mm -hmm. you know a, a essentially almost the consistency of a pudding. Uh -huh. yeah. That's different, and so but after two weeks, I figured when you stop seeing the disability mm -hmm. and you start seeing the person, mm 
Yes. And you start seeing the ability, the personality, all these things that they bring to life state. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It, you know, I've always, I've always been very, um, very aware that the lessons I've learned from the people that I've had the opportunity to serve and be around, mm -hmm. they've done so much more for me than I think I've yeah. ever done for them. Yeah. So it's kind of like a one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you getting, yeah. you getting as, as you get getting given, you getting it back. Oh. You yeah. know, and that's and that's that's a good way to look at it because. I mean, like I said, you got to have a certain type of, uh, built a certain type of way for that. Yeah. And yeah. to get something out of it, you you know, that means that you're really into it because I'm looking for the best out of these people. I'm not looking at their limitations. I'm looking at what I can find in them that's great, you know, uh, uh, what potential I can bring out. Because like you said, I know we got uh, two or three disabilities over here, but it's, it's countless other abilities that I need to be trying to focus on. We're going to take care of that part. Yep. And when I think about that right there, uh, okay, so then uh, what do the services, the services that you uh, that you, uh, that you provide, uh, how do that work? Okay. Um, one thing that <laughs> this is a government-run system. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so that, that that by default means that it's very confusing. Okay. And it's um, multiple hoops and loops to jump through and all these things. It'll and be so an acrobat. Yeah. Yeah. You do. <laughs> and you know what I think about one of my personal missions is is that when I think about a parent mm -hmm. who has a child with maybe today with autism and they're yeah. seven years old mm -hmm. and they need help. Yeah. And here's this family member who has never known what this business was, never right. had to know, Right. all of a sudden thrown into this, how do they navigate? Yes, yes, I yes. want to help right. navigate. Right, right, right. I want to help, yeah. you know, because yeah. it, it, it's, I just, I want to help them find uh, that resource mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that um, the boy can get, the boy could get the help that he needed, whether that's mm -hmm. the therapies, or yeah. even if mom and dad just need a break. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and it comes to that sometimes. Let's help do that. Um, but so <clears throat> the, the services depend on the needs of the person. Okay. Because okay. not all of us, you know, need the same yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I happen to wear one of my disabilities on my face. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, I'm so thankful that uh, years ago somebody figured out if you bend glass just right. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> then, then I ain't eyes. got my eyes on it. <laughs> <laughs> then my eyes are as good as anybody else's. Yeah, right. You know, and so right. this is a tool. Yes. Sometimes I think of us as tools, uh -huh. you know, that, that we help bring that person yeah. up and support them as they need yeah. to be able to function as independently as they possibly can. Gotcha. Some of those services, though, could be as we provide um, uh, transportation. Okay. If mm -hmm. people need to get to the doctor, to the grocery store, bank, to visit their mom, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to visit with friends, uh -huh. go to movies. So we, we provide that service. Mm -hmm. We also mm -hmm. provide um, transportation service. Or, I'm sorry, I just said that. Edit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we provide uh, residential service. Residential service, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. So people uh, live in typical homes mm -hmm. in neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and they just may need our assistance in that home. Mm -hmm. Laundry, um, doing uh, dinners, mm -hmm. you know, potentially... Uh, helping with cleaning, teaching all of those skills. That's the goal, is to teach people to be as independent as possible. As possible. Gotcha. One yeah. of our jobs is to try to figure out how to work ourselves out of a job. Make, make <laughs> right, ourselves right, right. unneeded. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. That's, but, um, and then we also provide a day service. Okay. So during that day service, though, it, it, you can do the minimum. Mm -hmm. We aren't doing the minimum. Okay. You know, we are going to be community active. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to engage that community. We have mm -hmm. volunteer opportunities. So many people that we serve are seen as receivers mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. So you'd see that person that obviously has Down syndrome, maybe mm -hmm. has cerebral palsy and uses a wheelchair, somebody with a little different gait or face, and, mm -hmm. and you're thinking, oh, you know, our tax dollars take care of that. Mm -hmm. Well, they do help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, when we get people working on the other side of the line at the food bank, yes. Or down at our daily bread, yeah. uh, at the animal shelters and some of these places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the people that we're serving are givers. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and definitely. not just receivers. Right, that's right. part of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wow. 
Okay, so now, um, say if I'm in the community mm -hmm. and I want to get in touch, I got a kid. Mm -hmm. But I, I, what, what would we do to try to get in touch with you or how do they find you, you know, to, to get the service? Well, um, is the you know, message out of the community? The Allen County Board of Developmental Disabilities is the starting point. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so they that would be the contact. Mm -hmm. Is contact the County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Okay, y'all heard that? <laughs> okay. 419-221-1385. Okay, 419-221-1385. <laughs> okay. So there they would look at an intake mm -hmm. and then there's an eligibility um, instrument. Okay. So it's kind of like a test mm -hmm. and then somebody scores that and then if they are need help in mm -hmm. three of the seven primary categories they become eligible to receive those services and also accompany those by those dollars gotcha. to buy those services. Okay. Once that happens then they can start looking at providers. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that we mentioned that I work for Benchmark, but there's Champagne Residential Services yes. in mm -hmm. Lima. Okay. There's RMS. Okay. Um, there's Ottawa Valley. Mm -hmm. you know, there's MLS. And all of these provide, provide the same type of uh, benefit. <laughs> yeah, they, we okay. all provide that same kind of service. And uh -huh. then mom and dad or the or the person that is receiving those services interview us. Yes. And then they choose. They the choose person. which one they feel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so they become, they, they're like, I mean, they've become just like us. They are purchasing the services they want. Right. Mm -hmm. Like us choosing a gas station or yeah. a grocery store, or, yeah. you know, whatever. They're choosing what they want because the money follows them. Okay. They buy. Gotcha. And that's a great, that's a great system because it gives all the power, uh -huh. all the control to them. Yes. And then it makes us work hard. Yeah, yeah. Because I want your business. Yeah, yeah. That's what, definitely. There Y'all better earn it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's pretty awesome, man. I like that. So, all right. Now we in the community, and for some reason, I don't know, man. It's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a cultural thing, you know. And what's the, what's the problem with why we, you know, uh, I'm just gonna be pointed. Okay. Us as black, black people, why are we so hard to? It's so hard for us to. Uh, to accept that and be able to go for those type of services and stuff. It seems like we don't take advantage of that like we should. Is the, is the message getting out there or what we need to do to try to get get um, get our community understanding that uh, these services is there. We don't have to uh, burden all of this by ourselves and that all of that is out there like that. I don't think everybody know about that like they're supposed to. What I'm going to do with that mm -hmm. is that I'm never going to assume mm -hmm. to understand. Right, right. Okay, mm -hmm. because uh, that would be disrespectful. Yes. All right. right. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. But what I can say of being around the business, business for 27 mm -hmm. years yes. is what I have seen from the black community mm -hmm. is that there's a trust factor. Yeah, yeah. You don't okay. want to turn our eyes over. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, so many, uh, as we mentioned in our call, you know, if you go through the nursing home, there's not a lot of black grandparents in the nursing home because black families take care of their own. That's right. I mean, yeah. it's, yeah. it's very family, yeah. and, and it's uh, admirable, you know. Um, but so in some regard, when there's a child born with a developmental disability, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or maybe he's just slow, or, mm -hmm. you know, family takes care of that. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It, yeah. And so there might not even be... That might be just the cultural piece. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or mm -hmm. they are unaware of these services that are out there. But the story that I told you earlier mm -hmm. is that I did work with a, uh, a lady that happened to be black, and she um, was in her 70s. Mm -hmm. She did not like me. Mm -hmm. and then, <laughs> 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 but what, what it was is that she didn't trust me. She didn't trust you. That's right. And, I was going to say that's hard not to see. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I can't blame her. I mean, think what a 70-year-old, now an 80-year-old, and she recently passed away, but so in the 80s, what she see? Uh -huh. yes. Why would she sit down yeah. and trust me with her loved one, yes. with her daughter? Mm -hmm. There's no, there's no... Right, right. You know, and so um, working through those barriers yeah. uh -huh. and uh, earning people's trust and showing people that you acknowledge that culture. I mean, she was adamant that this was a Sunday meal. This is what we do on Sunday. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we figured out how to make sure that her daughter got that cultural food on Sundays. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, 
we're serving that person, but we're yes. also serving that family. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, is, and then you know, uh, the education of it. I suppose most people might be aware in Lima of Merrimore School. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that you know, if if they're aware of Merrimore School. Mm -hmm. Then there's an avenue then to follow to get to where they would need to be after they would be done with school. Mm -hmm. So 18 to 22 years old when they would graduate from that school. Mm -hmm. What's next? Right, right. You right. know, a, a, a person maybe that would be, for lack of better words, typically developed. Mm -hmm. They're going to the military. They're going to work. They're getting yeah. married. They're going to college, mm -hmm. but they're out of the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Come on. And then. But yeah. the people that we serve, they, they aren't independent enough. They require more supports than that. Yeah. Than to just leave. Yes. And so that's when our, our own Right, right, yeah. right. Where y'all step in and yeah. start helping yeah. out. But do you think that, do, yeah, do you think that we, we lose out a little bit, though, because we're not able to turn them over like that? Because is it something that we should be getting out of it, like far as education and, and having them to where they they already in different programs and they're able to keep moving uh, they home with us, but at the same time, we got them out there to where they turn, learning how to be self-sufficient, mm -hmm. learning how to do things on their own, uh, being uh, uh, put that best potential being mm -hmm. bought out that you guys do. Uh, having therapy sessions. Yeah, having therapy sessions and things like that. Uh, uh, do we miss out on Is that Because uh, that seemed like... Uh, I was remember I was telling you about a, a guy that when we first moved up here, uh, he was uh, he was mentally disabled. We called him Little Richard, mm -hmm. and he used to come he used to come around, and uh, people used to run from him, and he was just like just running in the hood, and it seemed like uh, uh, we didn't never we never understood it, you know, uh, the whole the whole thing of the whole dynamics of it, and I just think that uh, I don't I don't don't seem like they was because uh, later on we seen like just hanging out and things like that. And it never really seemed like it was, I, I just never really thought it was something that was there for him to, mm -hmm. like the things that you're saying, the education, uh, all the different, uh, uh, like you guys are over at Benchmark, y'all want to bring out the good in people, y'all want that. And then it seemed like if somebody got a, uh, some type of uh, a, dis a disability, and if you're really stressing and trying to bring that out of them, you're going to bring some good out of them, but we got to be able to spend that time on them. And that by us being not able to trust you guys, then, so we losing out on time then. Mm. So next thing you know, I'm ready to trust you at 19, but what that happened all the time before that? You know what I'm saying? I do. You know. And, and um, you know, the county board, the Allen County Board has utilized some uh, strategically positioned bullet, or billboards. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to advertise and try to get the word out yeah. that all the schools uh -huh. are very well aware of what Marimore does. Okay. So as far as trying to get folks to be educated and then understanding what options are available to mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and then trying to say hey you know what there's some dollars that come around with this yes yes that can mm -hmm. help yeah. support and get us where we want to go right exactly you know, uh, exactly but yeah that's it's it's a unique um business it's a mm -hmm. unique mm -hmm. labyrinth yeah <laughs> but you're like you're navigating it you, you are yeah. man i no, like i like your want. attitude yeah yeah um lou was telling me about uh um, he, uh, at his job, they got a couple of disabled people there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and oh, yeah, uh, Mary Moore comes there mm -hmm. uh, with, with a group of people in work. Okay. Yeah, now, do they? PPG. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And we was wondering, he uh, he, he kind of felt bad because he, he wanted to know, is they paying them? Or, or what do they get out of that? Oh, uh, yeah, good question. We, yeah. Uh, so, there's an... Uh, there's a bill, uh, it's called 14C, but what they're trying to do is get away from what we call the peace rate. All right, uh, mm -hmm. so if you did a job at, P at PPG, yeah. and we time you, and you do this job, and we'd see how long that took you and how many widgets you got done. Mm -hmm. After that, then we'd have the person with developmental disabilities do it, mm -hmm. clock them, how much did they get done? All right, so then let's say that what you're getting is 20 bucks an hour, but they was only doing half of what you were able to do in that hour. They're going to get 10. So what we're trying to, what, okay. what 14C is saying okay. is that we can no longer, you know, pay sub-minimum wage. Right, right. Uh, for, for work. Um, so thankfully, that's called an enclave when there are a couple of people come out and they work there at the site. They have somebody that's probably with them kind of, you know, um, observing or yeah. supporting yeah. if needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But getting people into those community jobs, 
that's that's one of the most uh, important things I think that our industry can do. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it Definitely. was the first time I, I've seen that. Sure. I'm like, wow, that's that's pretty cool. That's yeah. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. To actually have them in a working environment, they was doing great. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they was doing great. What's a, what's really cool is when somebody has a has a very large success. You know, when somebody is placed. Oftentimes, the people with developmental disabilities who have a job, mm -hmm. that job is one of the most important things in their life. Yeah, yeah, they, for sure. They yeah. are going to come to work. Yeah, they are right. going to do a good job. That's right. And you know, they could be the most reliable employee that somebody has. And you know, they have unique sets of skills. So placing them in a good job that, uh -huh. that matches those skills, once that happens, it's like us. Yeah, yeah. You almost yeah, find, yeah. Your, find your home. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. And so um, it's it's really exciting to see people with uh, disabilities mm -hmm. being valued. Yeah, yeah. And they are part of the workforce. They're paying taxes. Exactly. They're paying into their Social Security. Yes, for some that's day. right, that's you know, right. Um, that's just a it's a celebration and I think it's a it's an equalizer yeah yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah definitely definitely, yeah. definitely because you know say if my disability is a, a bad leg okay okay um, but I know how to pay piece these get these pieces out yep you know so why should I pay you lesser you know because of that right. you know and oh man it's just so good to hear that we got people like you that's advocating for that uh, doing what you're doing over there at Benchmark, man, and it's just, just like, uh, y'all got to get on to Benchmark. They right here. They right over there on Main Street, man. Mm -hmm. This where Ryan at. He over there doing good things for the community, man. And uh, what we want to try to do, we want to try to bring awareness and then let people know that Ryan over there, and not, not only to the black community, but to all the communities in line with that, man, we got help. If there's somebody in your family that, that need help, uh, any type of help. Uh, you see, he was talking about his dad. He, he been in the Army, man. He a vet and everything. You know, and we turn our backs on things like that. You know, we just got to be more aware right now. We hoping that the show bring that awareness, and we gonna keep on trying to bring people in like Ryan around here, man, and let us let us know, man, because uh, this is something good, man. And on top of that, uh, another question I'm going to in this field, it's all types of jobs they hire, and so you know, it's just like all we got to do is just uh, just get out there find out a little bit more about it. And if, even if you don't want to be on this part of it, you can be on that part of it. It's, it's, uh, tell us about the employment, the opportunities okay. and things like that. It can be the most rewarding job that anybody's ever had. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There's a couple of things when we start interviewing people that I encourage uh, the people who do interview to look for. Mm -hmm. First of all, can, does somebody care? Yes. Mm -hmm. I cannot teach you to care. No. You have to bring that to the job mm -hmm. with you, or you won't be any good at it. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know, that's right. That's right. Um, so, a person has to have a prerequisite of caring about people. Yeah. Secondly, uh, our jobs are hard to to meet all the criteria. Mm -hmm. For example, um, we do an initial drug test. Yes. I think that's going to go well. You know, but mm -hmm. which I'm okay. <laughs> you know, as far right, as like, right. I don't care. I don't mind if somebody uses marijuana off the clock. Yeah. You know, that doesn't impact their job. Exactly. You know, but nonetheless, I digress. But you have to have a valid driver's license. You have yes. to have car insurance. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to either have a high school education or a GED. Yes, come on. Um, you have to pass a background test. Mm -hmm. You know, so you roll your fingers and see what comes back. You do a driver's extract, so if you have more than six points on your license, you can't drive the people that we serve. Yeah, yeah, that's kind you of true. So when you look at all these things, it's like, what what does McDonald's do? Right, right, right. What does Come a on. factory do? Yeah. I mean, you can go out and drive a tow motor for $30 an hour. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to have all that. Yeah. You know, and so it makes our job very hard. Right. And we're paying 13 50 to 15 bucks an hour. Wow. And, mm. and there's the, therein lies one of the hardest things is um, our funder is Medicaid. Yes, okay. And so why, why a lot of doctors don't take Medicaid is if a regular appointment would be $100, mm -hmm. Medicaid's gonna pay them 40. Okay. And so doctors say, I can't do it. Right. And so um, by Medicaid being our funder, we aren't reimbursed very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can't give that money out to the people who's doing the hard work. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Uh, and that's the, that's one of the tough things, and that's why, you know, uh, this becomes almost a lifestyle, not just a job. Yeah. 
But I will say that I've had numerous opportunities to uh, be in front of decision makers and things like that, and we are pushing hard, pushing hard okay. to get this up to a twenty dollars start rate. Okay, it think, should be. It should be. That's I think that pe the people mm -hmm. are out there. Yes, people care and want to do this job. Yeah. Yeah. They can't afford to do this job. Yeah. Right. Exactly. 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 So many people have two jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to make this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This life means ends. <laughs> yeah. And that can't be. I mean, people have to be able to earn a living wage. Um, a lot of the people that are employees are mm -hmm. also Medicaid recipients. Yes. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah. You know? Right, right, right. I mean, right. we have to do better than that as an yeah. industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's one of our problems. But at the same time, like I said, there's there's $30 an hour tow motor jobs going unfilled right now. Yeah. Every yeah. single gas station, fast food, anywhere you go, help one. Right, right, right. So we are in this spot, which, uh -huh. again, is another opportunity to hire people with developmental disabilities. Because yes, yes. There are jobs available. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah, um, I just, I really believe that uh, the engagement, the relationship building, uh -huh. Some of those things are some uh, things you get out of this job that you might not get in every job. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I don't know what I just, like I say, it's just crazy to me because, you know, now how do they feel about you when you're giving them them talking points like that? Letting them know that, hey man, uh, you know, we, on, we, we paying these people almost like minimum wage to do the job. And then it's so much a criteria put in front of them to get the job, mm -hmm. but you got these guys out here uh, drive tow motors, like you said, uh, all these other jobs, McDonald's, and you know, none of that criteria is not that. I mean, they working with the same type of people. Uh, I mean, can make the t same type of mistakes mm -hmm. and everything. Uh, what do you think? This, is 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 there any type of breakthrough? Is it the people that you're talking to about it? Is how that's how that's going? You feel like is there any type of thing that's going to happen from it? In some regard, because sometimes people come to our Sometimes people come to our job and they don't exactly know what we do. Right. You know. Right. Right. And so then it becomes us selling it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go. okay. You know, I want to tell you why this has been my career for 27 years. I yeah. want to tell you personal stories of how these people that we're serving have changed my life. There you go. You know, and and you know, so you are hitting on some of those softer mm -hmm. senses mm -hmm. and some of the things that they gain. That's not just on that every other Friday. Yeah. Bank deposit. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. You know, if you're teaching somebody some skill mm -hmm. and they finally get that, yeah. and you watch them do it for the first time in independent, yeah, they got to be awesome. Yeah. If, if your heart has yeah. registered yeah. in your brain, yeah, yeah, then you probably aren't going to be a long term. Yeah. Player. I, I coached for 15 <laughs> years, so oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I coached a little league for 15 oh. years, and like you said, you know, to take a, a nine year old or eight year older. And, you know, and just work with them, you know, and then you look at it, you look at it year by year, you know, uh, all of the accomplishments they be getting and how they turn into the good players and the different things like that. Uh, I can imagine, you know, it's always it's something at the end of the road for it. You know, and if you're willing to put your time in it and it's something that you like, I believe things can happen out of it. And that first time that boy sits back on an outside curveball. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him exactly how to do that. <laughs> yeah, I told him how to sit on that type of ball. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real, for real. Okay, so, all right, now, okay, so I want to do this now, you know, I'm this guy, I, I'm yeah. this 22-year-old guy, big on this 22-year-old guy, like Lou, Lou, you know, some people think, you know, he older guy, but Lou only 27 years old. 28. 28, 28 yeah, 28, 28, just turned 28, 27, 28. <laughs> but, you know, just, okay, now, all of a sudden, say Lou want to do this, oh, man, I just got a passion, I just want to, I want to try to get in this field. Now, what type of training that he need to work in this field? I mean, is there any type of training that he would need? Is all I need to do is just bring myself or my Karen self to you? Bring the Karen self because I can teach you the rest. Okay. I can teach you paper, paperwork. I can teach you mm -hmm. billing. I can teach you, um, we, we use a class called MANT. It's a relationship building class, but it's also a nonviolent crisis intervention program. Okay. I'll teach you to help people de-escalate when somebody's escalated. Yeah. Um, I can teach all those things, medication administration. You'll be passing medications in the home. Yeah. We can teach you that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's a- lot of benefits. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then per yeah. company, per company, mm -hmm. I can just give you a little bit, but like, we do, we have a great 401k. Yeah. We offer um, full life insurance, or I'm sorry, uh, health insurance, 
dental, um, flexible spend. We do some college reimbursement for people that wants to go on to college and continue their degrees or whatever. Um, so there's a, 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 we have a very competitive benefit package wow. for an industry that does what we do mm -hmm. with such a minuscule margin. Right, right. You know, typically if we can keep four cents on every dollar that we receive at a four percent margin, we're, we're having a good year. Yeah. That's yeah. how thin, you know what I mean? That's how thin. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Hey, you know what, Lima? We got Ryan right here. He right downtown for Benchmark. He come in, man. He work on the board with the dis disability. He do all that, man. I mean, this guy got a big heart, man. He right in here with what we do, man. I mean, self-made kings, man. This Ryan, another self-made king. This brother all right, man. We gonna step away for a minute. We gonna go to break. Y'all know who we are. We SMK Podcast. We wanna tell you we love you, and we'll be back in a minute. We out. Oh, you know it. Here we go again. Once again, SMK Podcast. We know who we are. Okay, so we right back from break right here with Ryan from Benchmark, and uh, Ryan's just an awesome dude, man. I'm gonna be chopping yeah. it up, man. It ain't blue. Yeah. I mean, you know, sometimes, like I was saying, man, we, we get on the show, and then it just, every now and then, the show just, man, it always get better and better for me. And just sometimes, it be some things that really hit home to us, you know, and I like those, these type of shows, you know, and I know Lulu, too, man, we yeah. glad to have you on the show. Yeah. Glad you showed up, glad yeah. you uh, accepted everything when we told you about yeah, it. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was honored to be at yeah. <laughs> hey, but uh, Lou had a question that he wanted to ask you. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I got an uncle that's disabled. Um, he got a neurological problem, and I just want to know: uh, Do y'all work with them type of uh, disabilities? The short answer is is no. Okay. We don't uh, do that. One of the criteria for um, being eligible for the DD services is uh, the. Disorder has to be chronic and ongoing and prior to the age of 22. Okay. So that's one um, indicator of whether they're eligible for the developmental disability services or not. But what's important to me is to try to make these community connections. Uh, just because I don't do it doesn't mean that I might not know somebody who does. Yeah, and so yeah, there you go. Trying to build those relationships in the community helps build the bridge then from something I can't do, but hook you up with somebody that does do. Yeah. yeah. So um, you're not so you're not just he not just gonna tell you no if you come there. If I can help you out, then I'm gonna try to help you out and try to direct you to the right place. Yeah. Uh, I wanna read I wanna read something, a uh, uh, statement that you guys is all about. And I mean it just it's just an awesome statement, man. You guys is all about helping people live independent, respected, and included in their communities. And that's what he's talking about, man. He's talking about they do have a, a disability, but what we try to do and what they're trying to do, is us, Ryan, I'm trying to do. And uh, if I'm around, I mean, I'm just glad to just know that you're doing that and you just kind of putting a little knock, uh, an extra knock on me. So when I'm around them, I can try to just be a better person. I, I think I do, but I think I could be better, you know. But, you know, it's all about that. It's uh, The statement is all about helping people be independent, respected, and included in their communities and push to their best potential. And that part right there is, is what everything that you've been talking about, trying to dig in there, trying to find out, you know, uh, not looking at their uh, their disability, but trying to find out what ability I can bring out the part that's going to show, you know. And that's pretty awesome, man. I like that. Um, I want to talk about this because this is pretty cool to me. Uh, We're we, we going to be doing a show coming up uh, on mental health. You know, uh, I think that's that got a lot to. They got a lot of things that's going on with that right now. And I think I think if we can have a little board to try to talk about it, uh, we it's it be going on with a lot of us and we don't know. It, you know, and, and the other thing that that uh, well, a lot of the people that we serve um, are called duly diagnosed. Okay. In our industry, a dual diagnosis is they do have that intellectual disability mm -hmm. and they have a mental health diagnosis. Yes. In the, in the in the, CD, in the mental health form, when they say dual diagnosis, it means a chemical dependency on yes. mental health disorder. Mm -hmm. But, um, so we work a lot with people with uh, mental illness. Yes, that's why I wanted to get that. One of the things that is, um, it's getting better, mm -hmm. but it, it, we aren't there, is that if, if you were in a room and somebody said, uh, who's got diabetes, takes insulin. Mm -hmm. Everybody, people raise their hand. Yeah. Who's got high blood pressure and takes yeah. a pill for that? 
Who's who's bipolar and takes a, a medication for that? Uh, everybody does. Nobody does. Do you, you don't know, talk about it. No, because there's still a stigma. Yes, attached. yes, definitely. And uh, sometimes when people are, so you said something earlier that made me think of it, is uh, oftentimes fear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, think, I know what you said. You know, I could maybe you're knocking on me, you know, to be a little better when I'm around people with disabilities. Yes, yes. Guess what? If you just treat them like you treat Lou, yeah, 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 they're doing great. Right. That's all I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, yeah. but the fear that that we have that we don't understand something. Yeah, uh, that barrier becomes, was put in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got you. Get that. I got you, know, you. I got you. But um, no, so the mental health thing, mm -hmm. bringing awareness to that is, yeah. is great. Yeah. I can yeah. remember the first time I saw an antipsychotic um, medication commercial on TV. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I thought, what are you doing? Yeah. You yeah. know, all of a sudden you're saying, ask your doctor about Bill Fi. You know, yeah. things like yeah. that. And I'm yeah. like, no. Yeah, right, 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 right. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now I'm thinking, okay, you know what? They're showing these people actively living the yes. lives. Uh -huh. And just because the, we may have a mental illness, yeah. Yeah. it doesn't mean that it's stifling to the point where we can't live. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. So, I like that. So we could be doing some good things, making good strikes, but we made yeah. there. Yeah. I like, uh, I, man, I, I love your mindset. It takes, uh, it definitely takes a unique type of person to have that mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, one thing I want to ask, mm -hmm. man, like, how did you develop that mindset? Like, wow, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I can say this, is that early in the show, he mentioned that in order to do this business, you must be a very special person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I look at people that worked at four, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, you can do that same thing day in, day out. To me, you're special. You're special. Yeah. That's right. So <laughs> 25 years every day on time, they yeah. have a missed a day. Yeah. Oh. So, so, you know, I right. mean, we all bring a, we have a, a skill set. Yes. And, and there's things that we come, that we're, we're natural, <laughs> that they come yeah. naturally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, um, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't certainly make, me a better person it makes me gifted in a different way yeah. that somebody else is gifted in their way yeah, you know, yeah but it yeah. takes that guy doing that job that i can't imagine ever trying to do mm -hmm. to make this world go around yeah it takes every one of us mm -hmm. with our skill sets and so what he does is just as important as what i do yes yes and also if i, I think sometimes like um if if People are acting out who they are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't understand when it's extraordinary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. If I raise the helicopter and I get a, a view of a lot of different interactions, I can tell somebody it's extraordinary and they go, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's just because I know who they are. Yes. Uh -huh, you know, and, and so you're extraordinary, you're extraordinary, mm -hmm. I'm extraordinary, and we all put it in different places. Okay, yes. so yeah, did, you, did you develop that mindset when your dad came home from uh, Vietnam? Well, I'll tell you, uh, my brother is a therapist who works with people with mental illness. My sister is a special ed teacher, and I do what I do. Wow. So <laughs> okay. when you think... It was in a family. We saw a lot of caregiving. We had a lot of love. Uh, yeah. We okay. focused on the things that we can do. It's we like find the value. Yeah, yeah. And, and so how it ended up, that we all found our way into yeah, some sort yeah, of service. Yeah. That is, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not a coincidence. <laughs> right, right, right. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. pretty cool, man. <laughs> you know what, the reason why, another reason why I kind of brought up the mental, the mental part, because mm -hmm. I wanted to get to it, because that's what you guys do, too. And uh, it kind of, um, it was kind of surprising to see that you guys working in Douglasville, Georgia with the police department. Oh, now, so that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty oh. cool, man, because, you know, we, we know how the stigma is out there, and the, and the more that everybody starts to understand the mental health and the mental illness, we'll know, we'll, we'll know. And, and, and who more need to know and have them working with the police department because they run into these people on a daily, now, especially in the city. You say people in big places like Miami, you know, when they over on the beach and stuff like that, they it's a lot of, you know, people that just, you know, messed up and things mm -hmm. like that and going through it and stuff like that. So when they encounter things like that, you know, I think that's a good part to put, to be able to do what they're doing, you know. How did that come about? How did that oh. come about? You know, um, we started working in Georgia uh, maybe seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, our program is called Georgia Crisis. Okay. 
it's a state contract. Mm -hmm. um, there's seven regions in Georgia, and each region uh, may or may not use Benchmark. I think we're in four of them right now. Mm -hmm. We have worked in five. But um, so that program mm -hmm. is one of the neatest ones, in, in my opinion, that we do. Yeah, that's where you go, man. In the country. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so if there's an incident going on, let's say at the grocery store, and it was a person that happened to have schizophrenia, yes. and they were having uh, a hallucination, uh -huh. and, and things mm -hmm. were going mm -hmm. sideways. Yes. Well, then somebody can pick up that phone, and I always call, I always say it's 1-800-HOLY-CRAP, and uh, we pick it up, and then we triage it on our yes. end. We're like, okay, this, 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 all right. And so then we send a nurse, uh -huh. Uh -huh. we send uh, a behavior therapist. Yes, man. Yeah. We send a licensed social yeah. worker, mm -hmm. and then we have a, a highly skilled direct support professional. And when everybody gets to that area, uh -huh. it's not that that person's going to jail and that person's going to the hospital. We are going to respond to that grocery store. Yes. Uh -huh. And then we're going to try to de-escalate. Yes, that yes, yes, yes. To keep that person out of jail. Right, right. And out of the hospital. Right. Jail. They don't know what to do with the people we nope, serve. Nope. Hospital is going to give them a how it all uh, Benadryl cocktail. Yep, yep. Yeah. See, See you later. Home. See you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, no, go. Um, go. Have y'all thought about uh, making an app or something like that? I think that would be a. I don't want to say too much, but. That's cool. I think y'all should uh, develop an app. Develop an app yeah. to call for that help. I wouldn't say too much trademark. I want, okay. want y'all to be able to trademark if y'all ever want to. But <laughs> I think uh, it'd be a good idea to yeah. to make an app. That's interesting, especially for uh for special needs. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like I say, man, you know, you 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 got all these incidents and things where people, the police show up, man, they they just treat the people like regular people, and next thing you know, get on the ground, and next thing you know, shots being fired or mm -hmm. whatever. And then we come to find out it was just a little mental situation, and maybe if somebody could have came in and responded and talked to them, or just took it a different way, and then we kind of can hold the police at bay for a minute, and then let us let us respond first. Let's let us human respond first before a force respond. Well, are you familiar with um, what CIT, CIT. Uh, Crisis Intervention Team? I heard of it. Okay, I heard of it. So it was. Uh, it's called the Memphis Model, and in uh, 1987, the mayor of Memphis um, decided because there was a person with mental health uh, killed by a police officer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She said, "We got to do something different." Yes. And so what they did is they created these CITs and. In order to be a member of a CIT, an officer had to be on the beat for at least three years. Okay. They have to be figured out that a good day of work does not mean two fights, four arrests, yes. and your yes, and yeah, your, definitely, and your right. your uni's dirty. Right, you right. No, we need to know that a good day is when everybody gets to go home safe. Yes, that's right, that's <laughs> right, that's right. And then they get some more intensive training of people with developmental disabilities and mental health disorders. Okay. So when there is a mental health uh, crises going on, mm -hmm. they send the CIT. Okay. The CIT might not stand, you know, in yeah. a in a threatening position. Right, right, for sure. Yeah. You know, they may take a different approach and yes. have, mm -hmm. have their hands yeah. visible. Yeah. yeah. Use yeah. their verbal skills. Yeah. yeah. Because now they have that. If somebody is a paranoid schizophrenic mm -hmm. and the police officer comes up and touches them. Oh man. Right now, not only is that person going down for whatever he was doing before the cops show up, yeah, but now he's going to get resisting yeah, arrest right, the whole works. and assaulting an officer. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so that education is critical to help that population to stay safe. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, man. So you know about those type of programs, and so their program is not just here in line where they got another one in Salina. And yeah, and uh, I mean they just all over, man. And they down there doing good things, man. I just hope that that move up here to where they able to uh, our police department would take them on that responsibility and start, you know, uh, enact that program, you know, and start, you know, so where we can respond the same way, you know, as in the city and get onto that model, you know. Yeah. Okay, but we gonna move on, man. This is Self Made Geek Podcast. You already know, but this is the part of the show that y'all know that I love, okay? So, we got Ryan here. Ryan, man, been just been doing good things, man. He's been in this business for 27 years. And you know, you just seem like the type of guy that don't ever stop and pat yourself on the back, bro. 
you know. And so when you don't do that, our show is all about patting y'all on the back. When we get y'all on the show, we want y'all to feel like it's special. It's not about Lou. It's not about me. It's all about everything that you do. And I just want to bring it out. I want Lima to know we got the special guy right here over in uh, right downtown Lima. You know, and all, and y'all just go see him, man. He just told you that if if he don't have the information for you, he'll help you with the information. He'll right. get it out to you. Yeah. You know, who else do that, man? That's pretty cool. So, with that being said, guess what? We got a part of the show that I just rushed to. So, yeah. Ryan, I'm not going to give him a drink, but we're going to pop this bottle for him. He's going to take a sip of that water right there. And that's what we do. You take that cup, pour that in there. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to get this pop. This is the sound, man. This is the celebration for what Ryan doing right here. Man, the awesome. It's benchmark. It's everything today, y'all. Yeah. That's it right there. This is for him. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. No problem, man. You deserve it. Man. Yeah, you deserve it, man. And we're going to move on. So, you know, um, get your drink in, you, because now you're finna have to uh, go through a test. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. Oh. all right, all right. Leo, let me give one. Thank you. All right, all right. Just to Ryan, y'all, one time up. Ah, that's pretty awesome. Thank I need that. <laughs> so, Ryan. Everybody that I bring on the show, I always try to get me a win. I was telling you about it. I got this little test that I run past them. And so, and, and I, don't, I don't take no uh, prisoners on this test. I be trying to win. <laughs> <laughs> so, guess what? We're going to go through it. And what I want to do is uh, I'm going to give you a word. Okay? And all I want is one word back for that word. Okay? And just tell me what comes to your mind. And we're going to get through this pretty easy. So, my first word to you today would be faith. Grace. Man, you on top of my radio, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> Disability. Ability. Family. Love. Respect. Dignity. Best hype in life. Mm, community. Sharing. Children. Heart. Transition. Opportunity. Behavior. Subject and on everything about you, and on the the um, the whole subject itself, on the whole uh, the whole benchmark and everything that you guys do, man, it's just been great, man. Have you on the show? We we like the show to be about sometimes just to be uh, not all about uh, music or uh, entrepreneurs. We want to be in depth sometimes. We want people, you know, to, to find out different things that they don't know about. Yeah. You know, we just think that you brought so much to the show today, man. Thank we're glad you. to have you. You know, and I feel like we could talk about it forever, though. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, me and Lou will tell you, sometimes we be thinking that little hour. Man, for some reason, you're not, but you know, you get to notice when you do a show, how we can just sit outside and next day you know and talk an hour going like yeah, that. And so like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So I got so <laughs> many so much more things I wanna ask you, but we just don't never have enough time. So guess what? You already know we're gonna come back. We always doing these pop ups. We're gonna pop back in on Ryan. We're gonna pop in on his round where he feel like, you know, this my home now. Y'all in my home now. So this I you know, y'all gotta act. And we gonna do that for you, brother, coming up, man. Uh, we'll let you know when we do it. It's gonna be later this summer when we start doing the pop up. 
ups, and we'd love to come down and just just, just get a, uh, a peep at what you're doing down there. I'd love to show it to you. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. But you know what, Lima? We had him here. He came and showed up. It's hot out today, man. I had to turn the air conditioner up in here, and he could have went the other way. Forget that. I'm going to get me an air conditioner somewhere. <laughs> but he chose to stop here. He chose to come give this knowledge that we need, this knowledge that we want, the knowledge that we're seeking. It's Ryan. He's from Benchmark. I'm Big D. This blue. Y'all already know what we do. It's SMK Podcast. Once again, break you want. Hey, and we want to let you know, go like and subscribe, man. Don't forget, man, we got that channel. We're trying to get everything going up. All our viewers is up. It's going up too, man. So we want y'all to stay with us. We want to tell you once again that we love you. Lima, stay with us. Go like and subscribe. SMK Podcast. We out again. Once again, we're going to say it again. Ryan, the bitch mark. We love y'all. We out. Okay, but uh, Ryan, uh, what we want to try to find out, what's that number that we can call besides the 911? What's the new health crisis or uh, the crisis number that we can call? The new health crisis number is the 911. It's a federal program, and when there is a mental health crisis, mm -hmm. then if somebody dials 988, mm -hmm. then somebody with more expertise uh -huh. answers that call, and then officers or professionals okay. are dispatched uh -huh. to try to de-escalate that situation, avoid uh, hospitalizations and incarcerations. Awesome, awesome. Y'all heard that, a new number, 988. That's the crisis number to call. So if you got anybody out there that's kind of having a bad episode, or you see a bad episode going on, uh, talk, call that number, just like a 911 number. So we got it, 988. There's Ryan again with another more of well for information, man. So here we go again, 988. Remember that number? We're going to call that number if we need help out there. We love y'all, SMK. Uh, uh, it doesn't impact his, his mind okay. or his brain, uh -huh. uh, his IQ or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he came home sick from Vietnam and he had an infection and uh, it turned into multiple sclerosis. And okay. as that disease progresses, he we saw braces and canes and then manual chairs, electric mm -hmm. chairs, and then his last wheelchair he actually drove with his chin. And mm -hmm. So we did everything for him, um, from assisting in the restroom to, to bathing and mm -hmm. ultimately to eating, uh, all those different types of things. And, and I always insert here, my mom is uh, outstanding, mm -hmm. she's special, mm -hmm. uh, she's going to be... Uh, it's Shout out to friends. mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, they were married 35 years. That's and awesome. He oh, never wow. spent a day in a nursing center. We uh -huh. did it all at home. That's awesome. self-made kings. That means anything that you want to be in life, you can be that. We all kings. So, all right. Now we have to And for some reason, I don't know, man. It's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a cultural thing. You know, there we don't have to uh, burden all of this by ourselves, and that all of that is out there like that. I don't think everybody know about that like they're supposed to. What I'm going to do with that mm -hmm. is that I'm never going to assume mm -hmm. to understand. Right, right. Okay, mm -hmm. because uh, that would be disrespectful. Yes. Right. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. But what I can say of being around the business business for 27 mm -hmm. years yes. is what I have seen from the black community mm -hmm. is that there's a trust factor. Yeah, yeah. You don't okay. want to turn eyes over. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, so many, uh, as we mentioned in our call, you know, if you go to the nursing home, there's not a lot of black grandparents in the nursing home because black families take care of their home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. it's very thin yeah. and, and it's um, admirable. self-made kings. That means anything that you want to be in life, you can be that. We all kings. Hey, what a great show. Ryan Canado, Benchmark's Finest. Okay, what a great guy. All right, now do us a favor, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that push button notification. Therefore, you will notice the next time a new episode will come out, you'll get a bean. Okay, now, like and subscribe. We the YouTube favorite. Self-made kings want to tell you we love you, and we out.